Hi and welcome to another Artful Planner DIY video. Now today I'll be uh, making a keepsake pocket for May. So uh, I'll show you last month's. So this is last month's and if you want to see how I did that please do follow the iCard in the top right hand corner so you can see the process for that. And you can also see the process for this tag as well in the top right hand corner um, in an iCard and I'll put those both up there for you. So this was the watercolour insert for May as well. I just did that the other day. So I like to remove mine to make it a little bit easier to decorate and so I don't dirty my planner. And every A4 up for planner has a has A3 cardstock in it and then you can m make that into a keepsake pocket. And there are still planners available if you would like to purchase one and all those links to where you can purchase one is in the link below. And what also comes as well to go with your keepsake pocket is a sheet which is normally cardstock this is just on paper though so I can show you guys and it shows options of how you can make it so you can have a top opening one so you see that on the side and the bottom side opening one where you see that on the top and the bottom or you can have it open like a two spread and use the mini pockets that come with it so you get four um, with your planner and then you can always scan this and print it on cardstock as well which is what I would do. So I have two of those left. So I have made top opening ones, side opening ones and also done a two spread one. And I think I'm just going to make this a um, top opening one as well. I quite like the top opening one. I like the format of it. So I am going to put this into fast forward mode and before that I'm just I think I'll be using my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors it's the Skechers pocket box and it's a 14 pack so 12 colors a little brush and then of course the palette because I just want to make a quick background and maybe I might put some salt on it to make a cool effect which would be quite cool and then I just have some brushes I use for watercolor and I'll be sealing it with washi tape which one I'm not sure yet I just have to pick my colors but I have quite a selection there so I'll put this into fast forward mode and then I'll be back once this is finished
Okay, so the camera cut off, so you missed me sticking down everything. So I basically just um, added tacky glue where there was no double-sided tape, especially on these, since they are wooden. And this is how everything looks now. And I added um, my pearl effects, 3D pearl effects by Dovecraft. So I added the clear one for his eyes and the silver one for the rim of his pot. And you can see a review I have on those in the top right hand corner if you're interested. And you can also see a video of how I drew these in an eye card in the top right hand corner. There's some mandalas. This one was made with a sharpie and this one was made with the Papermate Inkjoy pen. Gel pen. So, now I think I want to outline them. Right, so I'm all done. I I really put, I quite like it actually. Um, I really like the colours and it's really nice and shiny from the silver paint. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Hopefully you'll be able to see that in the photos at the end. And I have a bit of a poll on this asking you what I, I should do with my mandalas. So if you do follow the iCard please do answer the poll, that will really help me out. And yes, yeah, so, if you do anything with your keepsake pocket, please do share on the Artful Planner group page on Facebook, we would love to see it. And I hope you enjoyed the video and this gave you an idea of how you can decorate your keepsake pocket. Just making sure it wasn't sealed um, with the paint. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye!